Welcome. I'd like to talk to you about your online self. The internet gives you lots of opportunity to communicate with individuals and groups in a very wide context. In this slideshow, we're going to explore some of the things you should keep in mind when you create a personal profile on a social networking site such as this one. When you describe yourself, you're explaining your identity. Your identity defines who you are, the kind of personality you have, what you like and don't like, and what might be important to you. There are many sides to your personality and your identity, and you don't show all sides at all times and to everyone. Every day you make decisions about which side of your identity to show at different times and in different places. There's the you that you show at home with family, the you at school, the you hanging out with your friends, and the you that is part of a group or team working together. You can show the different parts of yourself online as well. The difference is that when you show your identity online, it's going out to a wide audience, often to people you don't know. How you choose to show yourself online depends a lot on the kind of website it is. On personal sites, it's appropriate to create an online identity that's casual. On professional sites, you want to be more formal and only showcase a professional side of you. With an educational site, such as Globaloria, Keep in mind that it is school-related, and you'll be showing yourself as a student to many other students and teachers. Creating a social profile is a great way to present yourself to an online community. Your social profile is unique to you, but which identity do you want to show in your social profile? There are a number of questions you can ask yourself before creating a profile. It's important to consider each one of these carefully before deciding what to include about yourself. Let's look at these questions one by one. When thinking about the main purpose of the site, you're focusing on why it was set up and who the people are that the site is reaching or connecting. The social profile you create for the site should reflect that focus. For example, if it's a site to help you find a job or a volunteer position, you want your profile on that site to be focused on your work skills. For a game site, you'll want to focus on which games or game-related activities you like. Your profile can be seen by the entire community of people on that site, and you can see their profiles as well. Depending upon the site, the community can be very diverse and could include many people whose interests are different from yours. It's good to be aware of that when creating your own profile or when looking at the profiles of other people. What impression do you want to leave? Is there something you'd like to include that might offend someone else in the community, even though you don't mean to? Try to be aware of the kinds of symbols, words, or images that could be interpreted in different ways by different people. There are some pieces of information you never want to include in any social profile. These include your home address, your school name, unless it's a school-based site, your phone number, or other personal pieces of information that link to things that you wouldn't want anyone to have access to, like your social security number or other codes. Remember that all of your information is available to a wide public and can be used for a variety of reasons, and the information doesn't go away. Here are some questions and answers about the Global Aurea website specifically. What's the site's purpose? It's a social learning network where you learn to design educational games and share ideas with others in the network. Who else is in the community? My teacher, classmates, other educators and students from around the country, also professional game designers. How should I represent myself? I should show who I am in the context of this site, what my interests are as a student, and what I'm learning and can teach others about game design. How can I use my profile to represent my class or school? I can think carefully about the kinds of information and images I include, choosing things that would be appropriate in school. How much information is too much? Information revealing your address, telephone or social security number, as well as other very personal pieces of information. Remember to keep all of this in mind when you're creating your Global Aurea social profile. 